Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be, instead of working on the inventory system, I kind of ran out of time due to family obligations as well as work obligations. I ended up not getting enough time to do a tutorial this week, so instead I just kind of wanted to show off what I've been working on with the terrain. I kind of wanted to overhaul my visual style and actually get it to something akin to what I actually want the final project for Hermit to be. And so I'm kind of revisiting all that and I'm not even, not even sure for most of the gameplay, but I wanted to get something a little bit more visual to show specifically my wife because my wife brought up a good point that while the style was in my head, I knew what I wanted. I hadn't really shown it to anyone. I hadn't shown it to her and she and no one else could see it without me actually making something to show. So this is for the time being Hermit. And some of you from the beginning might remember some of the game mechanics that were planned for Hermit. I am going to be changing that up. I know what I want and so I'm going to be kind of pursuing that and we'll see how fun it is because the previous iteration just wasn't really fun. So while I've been working on gameplay I kind of took a step back from gameplay and decided to just work on visuals for a little while to kind of get something along the lines of what I wanted to get the end result to be. And that style somewhere falls in line with a kind of cartoony, almost, almost anime style in some regions, but then leaning more towards, if you go over into the forest, a darker, more rot-oriented, more decay-feeling, like brown-feeling environment with lots of ferns and small undergrowth and these large redwoods and mandrone trees that are just kind of dotted out throughout the forest. Still a long way to go. A lot of detail, obviously, to add, but the results that I'm getting are already doing pretty well. Now, besides that, I also have been working on character style. Let me get out of the forest here a little bit. This is my current little test character. I intend to have characters later on be, while customizable, the option to play the main character, the original character, should still be present. I mostly just want them customizable for player-to-player -player interaction with co-op. That way, players can have their own characters when they're interacting with each other, but then there is an actual main storyline that can be followed, but all that's still a long ways out. Right now, I'm just mostly focusing on the visuals, trying to make it nice and enjoyable and a pretty experience overall. So I need to actually add in rocks and mountain cliffs and stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm focusing on next after I work on the player character. I've been working on animations in the last couple days, but that'll be it for this week. I'll leave you off with a couple clips of just running around and enjoying the environment. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all back next week for the next tutorial.